How about we talk about a little, since we're, we're in the neighborhood, let's talk about a little bit of uh, cryptocurrency. All righty. Uh, so when I decided to do this piece, but I talked about doing it uh, Saturday or Sunday because I had a sneaky suspicion the all-time high was going to get taken out or at least, you know, an attempt at it. And today it did. Uh, let's see. What am I on? Four hour. So sometime around this morning, uh, for me, it got taken out. It was 6,900 previously. 69,000. Um, 69,000. Thank you. So 69,000 previously. Um, and then it went up to like 69, uh, do, do, do. 69 to 10. So um, it's basically just hitting a resistance. The best thing that could happen is it'll consolidate and then work work its way a little higher. Um, but it's all dependent on, I don't know, the next few weeks and what the Fed says and all this stuff. But if you looked into it, um, Coinbase did the exact same thing Bitcoin did. No surprise there because basically they're making money off of trade volume. Um, uh, but also at the same time, you still are getting charged fees whether you're buying or selling. So the that's the weird thing. So unless they're, um, you know, unless somebody saw something uh, when they were speculating the price of Coinbase, um, and notice something that they didn't like early in the day, or maybe it's just some stops got hit and there was a little bit of a sell-off with Coinbase. But if you go over to the commodities, same structure there, up, 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 and then a slight slight uh, consolidation. So, And this is all over crypto. It's not just with Bitcoin. Um, all crypto follows Bitcoin. That's just the way it is until uh, some of these things start getting implemented. Uh, talking about Blair, XRP, um, Hedera, all those. Uh, Ethereum uh, hit, I don't think it hit an all-time high, but it did climb pretty significantly over the past week. So yeah. overall, a very, very uh, good week for Bitcoin, but we'll have to see if it actually breaks through that resistance or ends up, you know, Fizzling out, and then there you go. There's your top, and sucks if you bought it again at the all-time high. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Jamie, but uh, essentially with Bitcoin going through this this trend, we're going to see this across almost all crypto over the next week or so. Is that is that about is that pretty accurate? Yeah. So basically, if Bitcoin's um, one of the guys I follow, blockchain backer, I yep. highly recommend. Uh, he's he's hit or miss sometimes, but market's going to move with Bitcoin. So uh, a main theory amongst a lot of the analysts is that uh, as long as it can break through at 69, 70 resistance, then there's no, no telling. If it consolidates for a little while, all the other coins are going to pop off. It'll be people selling and rotating their profits into those smaller cap stocks or coins, excuse me. So, all right. So, quick sidebar while we got a little bit of silence here. How's everybody's flair doing? Fantastic. I was actually just looking at that. I was, I was trying to, I forgot where I have my flair. Uh, mine is I moved still everything. sitting well, in Robin. No, uh, uphold, not Robin Hood. Uphold. Is it uphold or is it Nexo? So I got all all mine got uh, airdrop to uphold. I think mine was. Let me double check here because I getting, thought I moved everything over to. Are y'all still getting drops? Oh. Like I think I just got one like a week ago. Another flare drop like a week ago. Yeah, I get all my drops through Bifrost, though, because you can delegate and then you earn more flair. Yep, but I, I, I'm not mad. I'm I'm not no. mad. No, but it'd be nice if it gets back up to $2. Yep. Or it was. Yep. 
I think we'll see it. Yeah, mine's still a Nexo. Probably need to move it. Uh, you can't. At least I could oh, the I last to... time I tried. Maybe that's why it's still on. But my Bitcoin's still on in Nexo too for whatever reason. I think I was trying to make sure I got every single drop of the the interest while they were still allowing them to pay us interest. Yeah. I can't get into my Nexo. Wants me to do some kind of authenticator app two FA. You know two. Yeah, you should already have that on there. That was you've always had to do that. Hold it. Is everybody still holding XRP? Yes. Yep. Uh, we actually used um, a chunk of ours on the down payment on the Wagoneer a while back. Uh, right before it before it completely tanked. Uh, but okay. I bought the house. Yep. Uh, and a buddy of mine was like, yeah, you should get one of those cool license plates that said, thanks, RP, XRP, like, thanks with the THX. R yeah, I would kind of actually, it's not the worst thing ever. Yeah. But yeah, good stuff. Um, so I, I do have a question for you, Jamie. This is more on the ideal side of things. There's a lot of people that still do not believe that cryptocurrency is a real thing. And what I mean by that is they don't think that it's ever going to actually catch on. What, what would you say to that? Uh, I mean, it's already being used. So it's kind of already got caught on. You have major companies uh, mining it. You no, know, you've got um, you know, countries accepting bitcoin uh, el salvador yeah Which, like i mean i yeah that's fine if you want to have your head in the sand about it but it it's one thing to you know say you don't understand something it's another thing to be like yeah it's just not going to happen it's not going to happen like i think i think you're only lying to yourself when you don't see current market as an opportunity because that's what it i mean i don't know right now but i do know you know a few years ago it definitely was a massive opportunity so, so do you think that people who don't believe in cryptocurrency the reason why they don't believe in it is more or less because they're on the outside looking in they missed the boat uh I'm sure there's some people that feel that way. Some people feel like they missed the boat on it, but um, a, I think, you know, it's just being stubborn and probably half the people don't even invest. Period. That's, that's fair. That's I'll, fair. I'll, I'll take uh, it there's a, a lot of people though that go ahead. Uh, I'll take it a step further and a lot of it's ignorance and not understanding how it works or what makes this have value. And I think that's a lot of why some of these people that you're referring to aren't getting into it is because they don't understand it. They don't. It's it's hard for them to fathom something like this to actually hold some kind of value. So to those people, I would say you didn't miss the boat. Uh, you may have missed the first couple of launches, but you didn't miss the boat. I I mean and... I I personally do not. I don't think Bitcoin is be around forever i mean it's been around for 11 years was it or i, I think we're closer. 16 years yeah i think we're closer to it. yeah yeah 15 years something like that so it's been around since then i think it's yeah. 2008 2009 and it's already kind of antiquated technology you're you've got you know fees every time you move money which there's i just don't see cryptocurrency as a store of value um unless You've got it on cold storage. But even then, what are you gonna do when the when the you know lights go out? So I do know they'd still have like peer to peer paying, but you still have to have those validators that are saying, Yes, he does have that amount of Bitcoin, which it's usually a handful of validators. So yeah. I don't know. I I I'm kinda in both camps, but that's why I'll still be invested in crypto because so it's because you don't 
you don't think it will doesn't mean that it's going to be worthless. Well, and I think what right. you're trying to say is essentially you diversify. You don't just put all your eggs in one basket. Oh, yeah. So, do you, and I have heard people say that um, they don't want to get involved in cryptocurrency because any sort of digital money can be manipulated or turned off by the federal government. Which, again, yeah. I feel like that, those are people who don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, that can't. Those can't. If you're doing uh, a central bank digital currency, that can get turned off yep. by the government. So I think that's probably what they're they're mixing up there is they're yep. mixing up the C CBDCs and Bitcoin. Yep. As gotcha. As long as as long as you have, you know, a handful of validators, that that coin's going to be worth something. As long as transactions can be processed with it, it's going to be worth something. Yep. And I honestly do think that governments need to get out of money. Money should just be, uh, whether it's gold or silver or cryptocurrency, it doesn't need to be backed by a sovereign nation because we've seen how well that works out right. very well. One One more little nugget, if you will. Is it a coincidence that one Bitcoin is almost or roughly equal to one gold bar? I'm yeah, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Like are you talking about the kilo bars? Yeah, the yeah, the just the it's a thousand grams, I guess, which would be a kilo, right? Yeah. yeah. One thousand thousand thousand. Yeah, thousand. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. uh, so yeah, yeah. it's sixty uh, sixty five two fifty eight is the price of a gold bar today. Uh, got sixty six five eighty eight, but yeah. Um, so I mean that's that to me because they've always kind of held Bitcoin to like a different gold standard, like the gold standard for like crypto and stuff like that. I just happened to notice that today that that gold and and Bitcoin were about the same price for for one unit. So, yeah, one unit, yeah, yep. one unit of money, please. <laughs> <laughs> At the time of recording this video, Bitcoin was just shy of sixty eight thousand five hundred U.S. dollars, not getting past resistance. As of the time of editing this video on March 13th, 2024, Bitcoin has reached a brand new all-time high. And it's still going. <laughs>